Hello, my name is Michael Roberts. I'm a professor of biochemistry and animal sciences in the Bond Life Science Center at the University of Missouri. This brief video introduces a compendium of five reviews celebrating the 30th anniversary of the November 26, 1987 Nature paper describing the molecular cloning uh, from sheep embryos of what was then known as either ovine trophoblast protein 1 or trophoblastin, and now is known as interferon tau. This paper caused quite a stir, but before I go into that, I'd like to provide a bit of informal background on events that led up to the discovery. Oddly, I was trained as a plant biochemist and entered the field of reproductive biology as a naive innocent because of a chance 1972 encounter with an animal scientist called Fuller Baser at a party when we were both junior faculty members at the University of Florida. So don't underestimate the strong link between alcohol use and rash behavior, even in adults. That chance meeting initiated a 12-year collaboration, first aimed at characterizing proteins in the uterine secretions that nourish the early embryo in species with a non-invasive type of placentation, such as the pig and sheep. Later, our attention turned to the means whereby such diminutive embryos, still not attached to the wall of the womb, exchange information with the mother in order to let her know that they are there and to make a plea for their survival. If they single strongly enough at the right time, the mother may be persuaded to remain pregnant and continue to produce the necessary pregnancy hormone, progesterone, which is required to keep the womb a comfy dwelling place for the gestation of her offspring. There was already information indicating that the active embryonic factor initiating maternal recognition of pregnancy was a protein and produced by the embryo for just a few days largely due to the work of Jim Gotkin, a postdoc in our laboratories, it became possible to purify this protein and show that it could make non-pregnant ewes pseudo-pregnant, at least for a short while. In 1986, I made what some considered to be a crazy career-threatening move from sunny Florida to the Midwest. I was fortunate. Rather than a disaster, the move was career-making. At Missouri, the irrepressible Kazi Makawa and the more sober Russ Anthony and Mohammed Kazimi, with the help of two wonderful collaborators, Keith Marotti and Greg Polites at the Updrong Company, prepared bacteriophage cDNA libraries from sheep embryo RNA and were able to identify positive clones that, when sequenced, reveal that ovine trophoblast protein 1 was a type 1 interferon, a totally unsuspected find. So interferons like this are supposed to be expressed only in response to viral diseases, such as the common cold and influenza. The rest, as we say, is history and is cataloged in the five review papers. An outcome of these studies is that we now know more about the phenomenon of maternal recognition of pregnancy in ruminants, like the ewe and the cow, than we do in any other species, including the human. The work led to the award of the 2002 Wolf Prize in Agriculture, which some regard as the Agricultural Nobel to Fuller Baser and me, and provided the foundation of a career for many of the trainees we mentored. It was a wonderful 35 years. Thank you.